removing data with delete or truncate commands. Let's start with the delete command. The delete command is a DML statement. This means delete can be maintained under transactional control. It can be stored manually and it actually can be rolled back. The truncate command cannot be rolled back. Remember that. The delete command. You can either delete one row from a table, as in this example shown below, where we're going to delete from the category table with a category ID is equal to the maximum category ID in the category table. So let's look at this example. Let's go and look at the category table to start with. We can see that the maximum ID is 38. Let's run this delete command. So there's one row deleted. Let's select everything from the category table again. We can see that 37 has disappeared. Now let's go off at a very small tangent. This statement here says referential integrity at work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to delete from the category table where that category ID is equal to the minimum category. What is the minimum category? Let's select from the category table and find that the minimum category ID is 1. So let's go and try and delete that record. And there we have it. Referential integrity at work. Why will it not allow us to delete this record? Because the category ID is 1. It doesn't exist in the show table, but it does actually exist in the category table itself as a foreign key. Music concerts is a parent ID for all of these records. Therefore, the primary key on category ID actually has a foreign key on parent ID representing music concerts. There's a link there. It will not allow me to delete the parent record without deleting the child records first. So let's try and delete the child categories first. So we're simply going to once again use the minimum category ID, but we're going to set it and try to delete based on the parent ID. Let's run this delete statement. And again, we have a problem. Why? The reason is, is because, let's just look at the category table again. Even though these child rows of music concerts do not have child rows in the category table, they do actually have child rows in the show table. I won't go any further with this, but what I have to do is I have to delete the shows. If the show records had any child records, such as ticket records, I would have to delete the ticket records first. So in order to delete data, I would have to delete upwards. From the bottom of the hierarchy, I'd have to delete the tickets first, then the shows, then I could delete the child categories, and finally the parent categories. There would actually be a way to get around the referential integrity constraints. Obviously, I would still have to delete from the bottom upwards, but I could actually delete everything from tickets, shows, and categories all at once with a single delete statement. This can be done by setting the referential constraints with a cascade option. Cascade allows you to delete up the hierarchy. Personally, I wouldn't recommend it. It's very dangerous using Cascade because you actually don't know what you could delete. Unless you know the data model structure very well, be very, very careful using delete Cascade constraints.